It may be a bit too late to start selling print-on-demand t-shirts for Father's Day now. It's only 19 days away, and what with shipping times, creating the designs, you know, uploading them, advertising them, and like I said, the actual shipping times to get to the customer, 19 days is not a very long time. But don't worry, I've made this video because I wanna tell you of an alternative way that you can actually get some extra sales this Father's Day, and I've, d I've done this. I did this method about two years ago. Let me just bring the mic around. I did this method, it's connected, yeah. I did this method about two years ago and I wanted to make sure that this video would be relevant so I tested it again this week to make sure it works and it does work and it's really, really cool. And that is what I wanna tell you about in this video. Another brand new method which I haven't mentioned before on how to make money during Father's Day and not just during Father's Day, you'll see how this can work throughout the entire year. Now, I just wanna quickly add that if you already are selling Father's Day t-shirts, then by all means, keep going. Don't stop because I said there's only 19 days left. What I would suggest doing is messaging, sending an email to the company that you're using to fulfill your t-shirts, like Teespring or Redbubble, whichever one you decide to be using, ask them how long shipping takes and what the cutoff date is so that you can be absolutely positive that you're you know, designs, your, your shirts, your Father's Day shirts are actually getting to the customers before Father's Day because the last thing you want is a whole bunch of refunds. Before moving on, let me just quickly introduce myself. If you're new here, my name is Shimmy Morris. I create print-on-demand videos, Amazon FBA videos, general making money online videos, business videos, all that kind of stuff. If you haven't already subscribed, it would mean the world to me as I am desperately trying to hit my next milestone, which is 100,000 subscribers. And you guys are the only way I can actually achieve that goal. So if you haven't hit the subscribe button, hit that subscribe button. And like I say for most of my videos, if this video can get to 500 likes, then I am more than happy to do another t-shirt review video where you can send me all of your designs and I can review them for you. So that's that. Now that I've got that, you know, plug out the way, let's uh, move on and let me tell you the strategy. The idea, well, I called this idea eBay dropshipping. Now, when I did it a couple years ago, I had never heard of it. So I guess that kind of means I invented it, but did I invent it? Because I've never heard of it. I'm sure someone else had already done it. Who knows, who cares? It doesn't matter if I invented it or didn't invent it. That's besides the point. Either way, I'm getting off topic here. eBay dropshipping, I thought it was a brilliant idea and I tried it and I was really successful with it. So I thought I'd tell you about it and how it can be relevant today. It's a really, really simple concept and it works in three ways. The first way is just using eBay. The second way is using Shopify and the third way is using any other kind of website. So technically it works in thousands of ways but I wanted to keep this video simple and tell you that the three ways I'm gonna tell you are eBay, Shopify, and you know Etsy or whatever, your personal website. I'm not gonna go into detail with that. So here is the concept. You find really cheap products on eBay and then you relist them on eBay or you relist them onto Shopify and then you get sales. And then when sales come through, like you would normally with drop shipping, you know, when it comes from China or wherever, but then it could take a long, long time for it to get to the customer. Very similar to that, except the difference is you fulfill the drop ship orders through the eBay seller that you found. This might sound a bit confusing and don't worry, I'm gonna do like a quick two minute step by step with the screen a bit later on in this video, so stay tuned for that. But in essence, that is the concept. Let me just quickly say it one more time so you get it. You find products on eBay, you relist those products, you get sales, and you fulfill those products from the ones you found on eBay. Sorry if that sounds confusing. Now, Shopify works great with this idea. The only annoying thing is you have to sort out the marketing and the advertising and the generating traffic yourself, which is absolutely fine, but it eats into your margins. When I did this, I did it with eBay and I did it with Shopify. I felt like my margins were big enough to spend a bit on advertising. If you want the full story, by the way, of when I did this with what product I used, the Shopify website I used, the way I advertised it, you know, that, that story, like, I kind of like doing these story videos. If you wanna see that story of my eBay dropshipping days, then let me know in the comments down below and I will put it on as one of my ideas. I would love to tell that story. It's a really, really cool one. And it's just, it's different, it's unique. I, I hadn't really seen many people do it before and I thought it was a pretty good idea if you have zero money to invest and you wanna just, you know, make a bit of extra side hustle money. 
Now, if you want to do this this idea solely on eBay, so you find the products on eBay and then you relist them on eBay, the only thing you're going to need is a pretty good eBay reputation. What do I mean by this? Well, on eBay, you'll get seller feedback and you'll get like a number and you'll get a star and maybe you'll even become a power seller. And the reason why you want good eBay reputation is because you want people to trust you. You want to be able to charge a bit more money so that you can increase your margins. And if you don't have those seller feedbacks, you know, showing that you have a positive and a trustworthy account, then people might not buy from you. Now, there are a few ways you can get seller feedback and that you can get buyer feedback and you can get seller feedback. Buyer feedback is super easy because whenever you buy something, you tend to get a review from the seller saying, you know, easy transaction, it was a pleasant buyer, whatever it may be. The hard one is getting seller feedback because you need to sell something to get seller feedback. So what you could do is you could use this method to get a whole bunch of seller feedback and maybe not make very much money, just break even, or maybe even make a, a small loss just to build up your seller feedback. And that way you can actually start then listing products and making a profit with them. So originally, this is a Father's Day idea, by the way. This is a Father's Day video. Now, you can use this throughout the year for anything. When I did it, I didn't do it for Father's Day. I just did it because it was on a whim. I, I, I thought of the idea and I thought, you know what, let's try it. But as you can see here on my desk, there are no products. What I wanted to have on my desk was ties, socks, wallets, you know, bottle openers, cufflinks, all these kind of Father's Day gifts. I couldn't be bothered. Well, I couldn't go around the house finding these gifts. I just couldn't find them. But my point is, we're talking about Father's Day here and we're talking about the kind of products you can sell on Father's Day and those kind of products, and I've written a list here. The, the list is wallets, cufflinks, ties, belts, socks, bottle openers. You know, those are the kind of presents that wives and kids get for their fathers and husbands on Father's Day. And that is what we are going to be trying to find on eBay. So let me show you the exact steps. I'm gonna quickly go on my computer here. Oh, I hit the mic there. I'm gonna go on my computer here. I'm gonna start recording my screen and I'm going to show you the exact steps of how this process works. So the first thing you have to do is navigate to eBay.co.uk or eBay.com, whatever country you're in. And then we have to start, start searching for products. So you can see I've done my research here with the cufflinks. So we're gonna put cufflinks in as Let's say that's the part, that's the thing we want to resell. Now we're going to do a bit of searching. We don't want to do any of this groom or anything because that's that's niche specific to weddings. We're talking about just having a plain Father's Day present going on here. We've got this is a nice one. These cards are quite cool. So the cool thing about this is if you link, and this is what I did, if you link the eBay product to a niche then you can create a Shopify store and advertise it on Facebook with that niche in mind. And that's exactly what I did. I targeted, no, I'm not gonna tell you in this video because that is a whole video on its own. And if you wanna see that video, let me know in the comments down below. But the product that I found was niche specific and I think that's why it did so well. But let's just, let's just go through and try and find product. Now, what you have to note is you want a very cheap item because remember, you're going to be listing it and you want to actually make some form of profit margin on it. So these are super cheap, 195, but they're a bit, you know, crappy. You've got these cool Star Wars ones, but that's slightly too expensive. Cards, cufflinks. These are a solid Father's Day kind of thing. 299, that's pretty cool. 399, a bit too expensive for us. We want to try and earn some money off this. 499, too expensive. Right, but it's cool to see that these are all going for 499, 599. You know, 295, that's really cool. There's tons here. We're gonna go for this one, right? Now, one thing to note, this has postage involved as well. This is 99p in postage. This is quite good because you'll be able to offer free postage. And in this video, some point down the line in this video, I'm going to tell you why this can work if you relist it on eBay, right? So you're probably thinking, well, if there's two of the exact same listing on eBay, why should I get any sales? And there's a few different factors. The first factor is, eBay like listing brand new listings, right? So because you'll have a brand new listing, you'll show up reasonably high for at least a couple of hours, which could could get you a few sales. And the second thing is you always want to offer free shipping. Offering free shipping also gets you very high in the listings. Now, this guy was high in the listings because it was a sponsored 
page, right? But we're not gonna do that. So what you would do is you would see all of this information, okay? You would go to the description, you would read the description, look at their photos, pretty solid, okay? Then what you'll do is you'll go to sell over here. Don't do it on a new tab though so you can remember it. You wanna sign in, so let me just quickly sign in. Right, you want to create a single listing, okay? And then you want to put in the item, so playing cards, cufflinks. Really simple, if you don't find anything that matches, that's absolutely fine, you can create a new listing. And this is what we're gonna do. We have this person's listing here. We can literally take their title, but we can make a better one because again, the whole point of this is we want to try and look a bit different to them, make a slightly better listing, but just pretty much offer the same product. Once we've done that, we'll go and we'll click create the listing. Okay, now I'm not gonna create the listing on this video because it's, it's, it's really straightforward and anyone can do it. Right, what's the next step? Well. The next step is waiting for sales to come in. Now, if you're doing this on eBay, sales should come in automatically without you having to, you know, do any advertising or anything like that. You could post it on your Instagram if you really want. If you've listed it on Shopify, sales won't automatically come in. You will need to do some form of marketing, maybe posting on Facebook, Shopify, um, Facebook, Instagram, you know, Pinterest, wherever you want to post it. But that is generally how it works. Once sales start coming in, this is what you want to do. You want to go and find that original listing. Okay, you want to pick the item. So let's say you were selling the black Ace of Spades one, silver plated cufflink. You want to click buy it now. Okay, you'll click buy it now. If things are blurred out, by the way, it's just because, you know, I don't want to share my personal address and that kind of stuff, my bank account details. But what you want to do is you want to navigate over here to post to. Okay, you see what it says post to? You then wanna click change. I don't even live there anymore, so that's absolutely fine. Right, you can see the total item price is £3.98. Now you can see, these are all the addresses, show more. These are all the addresses. This is sh me showing you that I have done this before and I've got a boatload of sales from it. Now, I know all those addresses were blurred out and that's because this is not for me to sh show you these random people's addresses. But what you'll do is you'll scroll to the bottom and you'll click add new address right? You'll add their person's address of who bought your item. So when someone buys your item, you'll get their information either on PayPal or in an email saying, so-and-so bought your item, ship it to, and it will give you their address. You want to put that address into here. Once you've done that, you can click add, you'll send it to their address. And what you want to do, and this is a very important thing to do, is message the seller and say, hey, this is a gift item. Please don't include the receipt or invoice in the packaging, okay? And the reason why you don't wanna do this is because you don't want the person who's buying the item off you to see that you bought it for £3.98. That's pretty much like buying stock from China and then including the price that you paid when you go and sell it on Amazon. People will see, oh, he's spending 99p for this but selling it for £14. That's what everyone does. There's nothing wrong with it. It's called markup and you're allowed to dictate your own prices. Look at every company in the entire world. The point is you don't want to make it drastically obvious to the end customer. So that's why you want to add that message and then you can, you know, confirm and pay. Once you've confirmed and paid, the customer will then eventually get your item a couple days later. And that's how simple the process is. It's really, really, really that easy. Now, obviously, when I say it's that easy, yes, some people will succeed, some people won't succeed, but the idea is there and it's a pretty solid way to make money, especially if you're starting with zero. Now, let's talk about the verdict of this whole video. This idea, right, this idea technically works with any site. The reason I say Shopify or eBay is because they're the two that I use. But this could work with Etsy, it could work with your website, it could work with the new Facebook shops, it literally can work with any, any website. The only thing you have to do is of those steps I just told you, so I told you six steps, the navigate to eBay, the uh, search products, we did cufflinks, the find a very cheap set, duplicating the listing was step four, uh, step five was waiting for sales to come in, and step six was fulfilling those sales, right? The only step that you would have to change is step four. Step four is duplicating the listing. Now, the reason why you have to change this step, depending on what website you use, is if you're using eBay, you'll duplicate it on eBay. If you're using Shopify, you'll duplicate it on Shopify. If you're using Etsy, you'll duplicate it on Etsy, right? So that's the, re that's the reason, that's the only step that actually has to change. You could literally put it on any single website you want, and it, it, there's no reason why it wouldn't work. 
the reason why I put on eBay is because it's so much easier. However, you, you could see that there are a lot of benefits not putting on eBay because then you're not directly opening yourself up to competition of the exact same listing. But like I said, don't make it exactly the same. Make it have some subtle differences, make it slightly better, better keywords, better images, that kind of thing. You can even buy the item and take photos yourself and make it really, really quality. You know, have models in it. You can take this whole business a whole step further. I never went that far, but you, there's no reason why you can't take it that far and literally make a brand new looking listing of a completely different item and then just use that guy's item instead of having to, you know, get stock from China. You can just use him as your supplier in a way and you don't even need to hold stock. You can just drop ship straight through that person. Now, I hope you like this idea. I really, really, really want you to comment down below. Tell me what you think of this idea. If you've commented on any of my other videos, you know that I like to try and respond to every single comment I get. It takes me hours, but I really like to respond. So if you have any questions or you just want to tell me you love this idea, let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. And I just want to quickly say a little disclaimer. Um, and that is, this idea won't work for everyone. I want to be blunt with you here. I don't want to give anyone false hope that this is a quick get rich, get rich quick scheme that works for pretty much everyone. It worked for me and that's that. There's no telling if it will work for you. I don't see why it wouldn't if you do it properly, but I can't guarantee it will work for you. All I can say is it's a pretty solid idea and I like it. And if you want to give it a go, by all means, try it. That's the disclaimer. Now, moving on, uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this little, you know, tutorial idea. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. And like I said, this isn't just for Father's Day. You can do this throughout the entire year with any product you want. You can, you know, resell iPhones if you really want. There's no, there's no reason why not. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next week for well, actually, I'll see you Thursday on Thursday's video. I've got a very, very cool video coming out. You definitely want to watch that. It's a huge video. So yeah, I'll see you at Thursday at 5 p.m.